These men have made advances in medicine that may help to treat people with and even prevent some of the world's worst diseases. They've uncovered secrets to immunity and how the body steps up its fight against infection. Their reward, one of the world's most prestigious prizes. The 2011 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Part of the prize has gone to Jules Hoffman, whose work has been applauded by high-profile colleagues. Along with Bruce Butler, he discovered receptor proteins that start the body's response to invading germs and viruses. And Ralph Steinman discovered the dendritic cell that adapts to the threat of disease. But shortly after the announcement on Monday, it was revealed that Steinman would not know of the honor. Of course, we're devastated to have lost Ralph uh, over the weekend. Um, but at the same time, we are deeply thankful uh, for the many amazing years we were able to have with him. He had died only days earlier from pancreatic cancer. Cancer is actually one of the diseases their work may help prevent by understanding how the body releases antibodies to defend against disease. Understanding the immune system may also help in treating inflammatory diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, when a usually healthy immune system goes into overdrive and attacks healthy tissue, swelling joints. We need better vaccines to have the own immune system of ours to defend ourselves better against uh, bacteria. Uh, and then I also expect uh, that there will be some development in the area of attacking cancers from the immune system. One such groundbreaking development is already in the works. Steinman's former employer, the Rockefeller University, said he had been diagnosed with cancer four years ago, but had managed to extend his life using his own immunotherapy. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.